Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today's project is my slip-free yarn hangers. I love these hangers and learned how to do them a few years back from a friend, and they're great to have in your closet because they are slip-free. Your clothes will stay on them. So let me set these aside, and I'll show you how I get started. Okay, this is a little different project, and I find doing this in my lap is the easiest. So the first thing you're going to need are two wire hangers. I've taken some masking tape, and I've taped the sides together so it doesn't slip. I find this is a little easier for me. And then I take a piece of masking tape, about a couple inches long, maybe an inch and a half, and I'm going to tape the ends together. I'm going to go around this once. And then the second time, I am going to take two small balls. You can have them alternating colors or one color. The preference is up to you. I like to use my scraps of yarn up. Um, and so they just depend on what I have laying around. And I'm going to take these two ends and I'm going to attach them to my masking tape. And then I'm going to take that and finish wrapping it around nice and tight. And now I'm ready to begin. So I need to untangle my balls. And I create my balls so that they're about palm size. So I'm going to start with my right hand. I'm going to take the yarn over the top, bring it under the wire hanger, and pull it through that loop. And then slide that loop tight towards the end. And I'm going to do that three times. All pulling those loops tight. So now I'm ready to do my second side. Once again, I lay that yarn across the top of the hanger, pull the ball underneath, slip it through that loop, and then pull tight. And I'm going to do this three times. And as you can see, once you get that end started, it's real easy and it goes much faster. And then back to the right hand, alternating in colors. And when you're first starting this, sometimes it's easier to do two different colors because you can keep track of things a little easier. So that's how you start the hanger. Okay, I hope you can see this. I've worked my yarn around the hanger, and I'm on the bottom part now. And so I'm going to do that same pattern, three on each side, alternating colors as I continue on. Real quick and easy. You just keep going. I love to do this while I'm watching TV because um, that way my hands don't get bored. Okay, I've got my hanger finished. I've gone all the way up to the top here. I've got my two balls. I'm going to bring one around the back of the hanger and run around the front. And I'm simply going to tie a knot. Oops, butterfingers today. There you go. And then I'm going to snip this yarn and give myself about three inches. It really is your preference how long. And the next thing I'm going to do in order to create this pom-pom effect on my hanger is take some of my old pieces and put the two ends together. There we go. Take it around my fingers and wrap for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then snip. And how many times you go around your fingers is really up to you. It's a preference as to how full that pom-pom is. And now I'm going to have my two sides sticking to the right and left. So this is my top section. And I'm going to take one of the pieces of yarn and pull that through the center of that and then simply tie another knot. One, Two. And now I'm ready to trim this yarn to create the pom-pom. So I'm going to pull my yarn down, take my scissors and pull that into it, and cut. And then I just need to trim up the end so that it looks nice and neat and I don't have these stragglers. So I'll pull my pom-pom together and snip and throw away that trash and snip to even them out. There you go, a finished hanger. I hope you've enjoyed this slip-free yarn hanger tutorial. Thanks for joining me.